This is the part 3 of the Empress Antimaya saga. So Abuja Bobo was busy gathering videos to blackmail Empress. Why Empress, Empress was busy eyeing which house she would take from the Bobo? Now note this. This was after one married Alahadi for Abuja bought house for Empress so. So nobody says she no get house. She just needed another one to pepper her colleagues and show off hence the depression. Not long after Empress discovered that this bobo that was parading as a politician with them show him as plenty house no get one single room and pile of Abuja. Ah, all hell was let loose. Empress changed him for the guy. All the money when Empress don't borrow the guy thinking she will get in double, the guy refused to give her kobo. She promised to expose the guy and call him out on social media but the guy outsmart her showed her all their sex videos all her conversation and evidences with with her other leaky leaky plate partner yes you heard empress now by it means empress the swing both ways it was since then that the abuja guy had empress for neck begin extort her the more because empress doesn't want her secret flying in the internet now this part i'm about to say might break a lot of our hearts i am not supposed to say this but empress is trying to use adam and name to gather sympathy hence me coming out to say it when ada died safe on a hair pin from my mouth but making a video and saying she fell victim of the new froster guy because she lost her friend ada Ame is so manipulative ada and empress were never friends they were partners but showed it to the world that she is Ada's friend and taking care of Ada. See here, yeah. this is the Hollywood industry. A lot goes down and they come online to pretend and preach what they are not. Empress should leave Ada to rest. She be she later took Ada to Sulele. Not after their trip to Sulele place where Ada began sick. See, let's not put mouth into Ada's own. Let's face why we are here. Do as I was, though as I was saying, the Abuja guy started blackmailing her and she was constantly paying the guy to avoid issues. It was after she left the relationship with the guy she decided she won't have anything to do with men again. Although she was doing both men and women before she but, but she vowed to cut men off totally. Hence her closeness with Ada forming bestie online but so after Ada's death, which really broke her, you will see that Ada's family didn't really give her her audience. They know of how Empress took Ada to sue the church and some other details, hence their misbehavior towards Empress. So after Ada's death, that was when she decided to death this Josh Wade, where them they call baby brother. Although they've been talking, but she decided to give the guy a chance, having her own motives. Almost all the dating Empress goes into is always transactional. She keeps falling for this kind of relationship because she herself is transactional, always targeting to get properties or money. Now she and Josh, Josh were dating and the other Abuja guy still kept pressing her neck with blackmail. She was still paying the guy. This Josh what they lied to her that he didn't have any family and all. And he just came from America, so he doesn't have anyone in Niger, just friends. So he will use that one take enter Empress back, enter Empress house. But he was giving Empress money back to back. The agreement was that he is looking for property to buy, hence, he buys and Empress will move into his own house. Of course, Empress believed because the guy was giving her money back to back, so she didn't feel the guy was lying. They were both living together and most times this Abuja blackmailer will call Empress and she will go to a corner in the house to pick the call. The first time Josh noticed this countless times and decided to hack Empress WhatsApp to see what's going on. Now so the Josh see what an Empress they keep all along. He also saved most of the videos for his own phone. The Josh being a, the Josh being a street boy to arrange meeting with the Abuja blackmailer. He pretended he was Empress chatting the guy. The Abuja blackmailer fell for it and came to the destination. 
Joshua, they captured him and collected the guy's phone. Note, Josh Froster didn't go alone. He was in a company of some dreaded guys. Hence, they were able to capture the guy and collect his phone. It was after he collected the Abuja guy phone that he saw it on the guy's phone saying most of the money. He noticed most of the money he has been given to Empress was sent to that blackmailer guy. On getting home, he asked Empress who the blackmailer guy is, but she denied ever knowing him. Now, so the Bobo said for straight give him a batty hot slap with the torn eyes. Investment gone wrong. Player has been played. Most of the money he gives Empress were loans just to gain Empress trust, then strike. The ring he bought, all the money spent to Naso Wahala start that night when he began beat Empress in a old show. First time when Jam Old Oshonko, no be the case said to be that. Now all along when Joshua they log into the Empress account and WhatsApp, he started gathering a lot of evidences too. He then ran into a message of Empress arranging to relocate to USA with another guy. In fact, Empress was the one bankrolling that other guy too. Now so the uncle just provoked totally. Now waiting save this guy now because some of the money he gives to Empress was loaned and a signed agreement that Empress go with on him, of which Empress won Japan make Bobo for clear all this we say. Bobo too was finding a way to collect Empress house. Thief Jam Amoroba. <laughs> Wahala. On seeing all these games, Empress was playing and Empress told him point black so they make him no expect any refund. And they both dated and him stayed for her house for months too. So no refund. Now so Bobo began message bloggers by himself with Empress Pay trying to play defensive to ahead of when Empress will come out with crocodile tears. He sent me a message too with Empress IG asking me for my WhatsApp. I tell and say I know they drop any WhatsApp made them get out before him go meet Linda. Now you wonder why this guy is put to seize Empress passport and still bragging on top of it because they have an unfinished business. Documented loan yet to be paid amongst other debts. As the first star judge don't see say no show for him, the guy when he don't spend the he won't recover. But Empress talk say Yash don't chop him. As it is now court go later end the matter because if the money na just give and take for relationship now, Empress for win. But there are a lot of documented loans involved. Hence the guy's boldness and also seizing her passport. Aside all the details of the other Abuja blackmailer guy, Josh also gathered a lot of videos with pastors and Abuja Mare politician on Empress speech. Now, as Empress no one pay money back, Josh don't talk say film go happen this December. We no come no which kind of film will. Maybe na blue film I be na normal film. If na that if if not that they had an unfinished business with signed document. Just for the hide now, but I guess Empress didn't play her game well this time, and the guy don't be get upper hand now. So this matter now, Mofu Olo should jam anini. <laughs> the two of them are street guy and babe. One just smart past the other. As it is now, Judge the first I don't call her Empress passport. Say she she go nowhere with her hide, with her side bobo until Empress settle him. I am working on getting the picture of the other Abuja blackmailer. As for Josh and Empress, the two of them be bewildered. Court go help them sort their matter, make nobody call use fake tears, and add their name, gather sympathy online. Josh now big time froster, looking forward to gather rich money and collect Empress property all in the name of marriage. Empress on the other side was looking for how to chop Josh money and run. So we jam a Sewana uh, psychiatric hospital go settle the matter. Make police pack all of them, made them go write statement. This is what one gets when they are too desperate and want to run more than their shadows. This is why I keep telling legit hustlers to keep the grind going. One day horse will go pay you if you go compete with all these year British online. Or use them as a yardstick to your life. You go lost to all. If you know what a lot of them do in real life to gather wealth, you go spit for their head. Easy does it, slowly but surely. All legit hustlers will win. You are all doing well. Keep pushing. 2023 promises to be better and rewarding, inshallah. This part is my favorite part now. So, steady, steady. You're gonna win the race.
so guys this is everything that happened between empress and in this um in this video we've been able to cover what happened between empress timaya apostle jehovah sharp sharp and the judge the froster so guys in case anything comes up again i'm gonna be dropping you guys a video and keeping you guys updated but for now this is the last part that this lover dropped